body of work, you know, uh, winning the contest, you know, uh, some unique experience that happened out there uh, during the filming or after the filming or just uh, regarding being in the contest, winning the contest and your experiences. So Drew, we go ahead and start with you. Do uh, you have any interesting, unique stories regarding that? Well, I know we've touched on a couple of them in the past, but um, the one that really continues to stand out in my mind is uh, we had the opportunity, uh, all of us, to be featured at the Arnold Classic. And that's a huge fitness event, one of the big, maybe one of the biggest, if not the biggest in the United States now. It was huge, though, uh, back then for sure. And it was so amazing because EAS really did everything first class. The booth was first class. We had professional athletes coming and visiting the booth with us. And if you looked at uh, at all the venues and in all the booths that were at the Arnold Classic, and you looked at the sheer volume of people that were interested in coming to our booth, and we're talking about you know other huge companies, other uh, professional bodybuilders, it was shocking how the consumers were just lined up. I really, it was by the thousands. And when you, it was three or four day event and every day, um, if you remember, we kind of took our shifts in the booth, but mm -hmm. if everybody's shift was full out busy, you know, talking to people nonstop. And so it was so intriguing to see how the knowledge of how to transform your body was people were, I think more intrigued and more interested in that than becoming this huge bodybuilder. It just seemed like because the people were just coming by the droves and were so interested in what we did. And uh, so having that um, experience where, you know, all of us kind of had our own private lives. We weren't, we're not coming from a celebrity background, you know, uh, I know before I, before this contest, I trained pretty quietly at the gym. I wasn't this big boisterous guy, you know, just very quietly to myself. And uh, it was amazing to see that once you get featured and you're acknowledged in some way of having some level of expertise in the fitness arena, then all of a sudden you're, I was, you know, in, in my own gym inundated that, you know, all of a sudden I couldn't train at, at my gym without having interruption. Um, and, and but going back to the Arnold Classic, gosh, what an amazing experience to realize that your that all of our simple transformation impacted that many lives. And so it was pretty shocking to see and amazing and fun, and then tough to go home to be you know just the normal everyday guy you know when you get so much attention in that one setting. So it, I'll never forget that. It was amazing. Yeah, Drew, I, re, I, re, I remember that. I remember Columbus so well. That was, I remember the letdown coming home. That was, yeah. like, some of, that was some of the funnest. That was one of the best weekends ever. Yeah. That was a lot of good stories about that, that weekend. Yeah. yeah. But again, it was so exciting because, you know, it's one thing to be featured and seen in the magazine and all that. And then when you, when you're literally on the ground, and seeing the impact it made on people's lives and how desperate they were and interested in every aspect of how we trained and what we did was, it was just really a, a great time. It, it was amazing. It was, it was an amazing weekend. Okay. That was mine. Brad, you, you go to yours. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, man, that's, the, the, we got, lot, there's a lot of good stories, right? Um, and and I could go back to that Columbus thing and and tell a hundred stories, but uh, one of the things I one things one of the stories I remember that sticks out in my mind is when they were shooting the documentary for it, um, and we were all you know we were all we were all competing and and uh, pretty much competing for the for that Lamborghini, right? And uh, man, it was just like living a fairy tale, you know, and then. Jeff comes down and he said, uh, I remember Jeff told me, he said, you know, they, and we all, it was drug free. So, and we all took a lie detector test. Right. So, um, they, uh, supposedly, uh, Jeff and myself and Anthony Ellis failed the, 
polygraph test and they thought we were using steroids and bill called us up one by one to his office and questioned us and uh that was just like being hit with a freight train, you know, like it went from fairy tale to nightmare in a second. And it was, of course, none of us were using anything. And uh, I guess we talked them out of it, but that, that was, that was one of my most memorable <laughs> uh, stories. I thing. Yeah. I, bet. I was like, there's no way this can't, this can't be. And uh, yeah, test yeah, me again. Get yeah. there. Give me a blood test. I, I didn't take anything. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. That and then was just a, getting, and then just, yeah, and, and to two, that like, def- being, being accused of, of, of taking performance enhancing drugs. And because when I walked into Bill's office, there was, uh, there was cameras all over the place. There was big bright lights. There was Bill and David Anderson and all of his, uh, Bill's posse in there questioning us. Half of them were wanting to throw us out. The other half were like, no, I don't think so. Right. <laughs> and right. I'm just sitting there. I, I was in disbelief and shock and scared to death, actually. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, I mean, it all turned out good, but wow. What a, what, what a, uh, yeah. What, what a yeah, time. I know. It was definitely a nerve wracking time. <laughs> it was, it was, you know, I don't think I, I think that's the first um, yeah, light that detector. Was, that was definitely from. Yeah, I never. Yeah, I never took yeah. a light detector yeah. test before, and uh, yeah. but I remember taking it, and uh, I I remember thinking, man, I hope this thing works. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Apparently, they don't. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. It, it, uh, yeah, there were some questions about its validity. It was definitely, to me, it was definitely, that was dreadful. That's the only kind of negative uh, experience I had when I was out there. And I will also say when they were putting those springs around your chest, every time I'd take a deep breath because I was nervous, the spring would roll down my chest because, you know, I'd built my chest up. So I'd take a deep breath because I was nervous. The spring would roll down my chest. And I'm thinking, oh, that's going to screw up the reading. And uh, anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my chest was a big thing to do that, <laughs> Jeff. So uh, it was all on you. Uh, you had to, a, lot of, a few of us normal. failed it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, so the, um, uh, you know, I just want to, uh, talk about my ex- experience that probably sticks out the most, uh, right now in my head. Although like Brad said, we're going to have stories to tell every time, every time we do one of these, just because we have so many great stories, but my story is just, uh, remembering walking in the bookstore and seeing the muscle media magazine with the Lamborghini on the cover and, saying you could win this. And I just looked at that and I said, wow, this is what I needed. You know, I I need to enter this contest. I'm going to win this Lamborghini. And and from that point on, I just envisioned winning that Lamborghini, going to the EAS headquarters, meeting Bill Phillips. And what happened for me, and more than likely for you as well, is once I finally was one of the finalists and I went out there to the ES headquarters. I'm standing out there in what I had manifested or I had dreamed of in my head. So I, I'm sitting there in a dreamlike surreal state thinking, oh my God, this is what I dreamt of in my head. This is what I focused on. This is, I manifested this because my thoughts, my words, my actions, I manifested this and it made me even more clear on understanding that our thoughts, our words, our actions have 100% impact on our future. And so I, I realized even something as crazy as winning the Lamborghini, going out to EAS headquarters, meeting Bill Phillips, meeting you guys, which is a crazy for an average person because I focused on it and I, I, I uh, stayed positive and intelligent with my actions, I, I created it. And it was just a huge, uh, a kind of a switching something on in my brain, realizing Jeff, you could create anything, you know, you just got to have that same focus, that same intention, that same, uh, constant positive thought. Well, that was really the, the, uh, the thing that sticks out the most in my head. But again, I'll have stories as we do this podcast. So did you guys want to add anything else uh, to this podcast before we uh, sign off? 
Well, I, I was just going to say, Jeff, what's so interesting about your story is um, it's my story. And it probably is Brad's story. Yes. Uh, and, and, and so you've got three individuals, and I'm sure we had the other champions there. They would give you some rendition of their positive thinking. But isn't it interesting when you have the, all these individuals that are, that are really going after the same goal and applying these techniques of positive thinking into their lives? You have proof positive, Jeff, of what you're saying. It's like it just didn't happen to you. All of us applied the same techniques and we all arrived at the same location. Isn't that amazing? You know, it just it, again, it's a it's an affirmation that this actually works. Yeah. And just because yeah. you're going after yeah, a so goal it's, it's that a, else is going after doesn't, yeah. doesn't preclude you. We all had the same pathway. Um, so it works for everybody. Um, really. And, it, and even the outcome turned out yeah, so, better than expected. So the formula, so, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. So the formula, the, the formula for me is just, uh, of course, positive thinking, but intense, intelligent, focused action. That is it. Intense, intelligent, focused action. You're still going to achieve success. You may not be the winner, but you're going to achieve success as long as you do have uh, beyond positive thinking. You know, just maximum yeah. effort. Uh, uh, the 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 highest quality information currently available time, and just consistent focus on that. So consistent, yeah. intense, intelligent action works. Yeah, it and works. And and I I just like to say that you know we, we all experience the same thing like that we're talking about, but um, and we all had different protocols we all had different workout programs at the time there was no body for life program then you know that came out after the contest so we all kind of had different approaches to it but we all had the same mental uh game you know and and uh and that's what happened you know the the one thing that we hadn't really talked about maybe this will be for future um um times that we talk about our experiences is that um in addition i think it's our ability to deal with obstacles or disruption because you can be focused uh, and I think under the under the guise of focus it would be your ability to fight through these distractions but really I'm sure everybody if we sat them down and said er, over the course of your transformation period what things almost blew it up for you you know and were you strong enough to fight through that and um so that might be uh, something interesting for the future. But I know all of us had a, a probably a moment or two in our transformation journey that we could have derailed. Yeah. But we had enough intensity in our purpose and focus to fight through that. Yeah. All right, guys. You know, that was to me, this was a, a great podcast. I, uh, I love today's podcast. And so, uh, I think that's about it for today. And um, so I want to thank Brad. Thank you for once again co-hosting. And Drew, thank you again for co-hosting. You know, I've, we're a great uh, combination of people that I just have all interest. We all have interesting perspectives that people can relate to. So, uh, again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And uh, it's been great. And we'll see you back here in two weeks. And one more thing. Forgive again. My internet is horrible, so forgive uh, my poor reception. And again, if you guys have any questions or you have ideas of what you want us to talk about in future episodes, go ahead and send those in. So for all of us, um, thank you again. We're signing out. Have a great day, everybody.